Okay. What I'd like to show you is this. Um, well, homopolar generator test setup. It's got a little motor, about a three-inch diameter magnet, half-inch thick, and something I set up over here, which is actually a magnet with the wire running down the face of it and a loop out here in front of it and they both come out through this hole in the middle and we're gonna we're gonna spin it up Let's see what we get okay there she goes I'll get my meter here. We'll hook that up. And we can see we're at five thousand two hundred. Five thousand three hundred. Five thousand five thousand five hundred and twenty, I think I had. Five thousand five hundred and twenty. Yep, five thousand five hundred and seventy. Anyway. 5,500 RPM, and I can turn this on, DC voltage, and you can see we get nothing, zero. And the current, we get zero, and zero, we get absolutely nothing out of this thing. And I have tried it both ways with um, an attraction between the two magnets and this one repelling. And it makes no difference. This field, if it was spinning, cannot be shielded at all. 5,500 RPM. So now I'm going to just slow that down. I'm going to actually take um, and change this configuration around and we're going to run this little thing which is going to be a set of brushes and we're going to put a steel plate on there and we're going to run a stationary magnet with rotating brushes and we'll see what that does. Okay, the configuration has changed. You can see now I have a stationary magnet with a steel plate on it and just a single conductor running to the face, which I'm going to spin up and we'll see what we get. So the other the other connection to the meter is connected to the magnet and we'll spin that up. And touching this on the shaft, which is hooked to that, we see we get minus eh, not much, minus 22 millivolt, turn up a little higher, 25, 26, 28, 29. About 30. So if I take and change the direction around, and those were minus, and go the other way, now we get a positive 30. Slow it down. 26, 24. Slow it way down. Nothing. Speed it up. So it's pretty obvious that you can actually generate 
the same current by moving only the conductor.